and the art. <laughs> That's not an art fork. It's an anteater. Happy Monday, everyone. Once again, I'm Chris Noosh, and I'm going to show you what I'm working on in my studio this week. Um, it's Monday, and last week was unintentionally frog week. This week, I want to come into it a little bit more focused, a little bit more intentional. Uh, so this week's going to be intentionally anteater week. And the reason for that is I kind of just want to draw an anteater. I haven't drawn one to my knowledge in the past, and I'm just going to go for it this week. I'm going to make a handful of new anteater pieces of work. I'm going to do a new anteater t-shirt block, which I've never done one ever. I'm going to do a handful of tiny anteater carvings, and I'm going to do one uh, semi-large-ish carved and painted piece of an anteater. I did a little bit of research this morning in preparing for this week to kind of get my visuals going um, of the pieces that I'm going to be working on. And I looked up some interesting facts about ant eaters and, and basically uh, some maybe not so interesting facts too, just like the, the basics. So I, I knew what I'm working with and I'm going to tell you facts all week long, but I'm going to start today with the most interesting fact that I found today and everything else will be downhill from here. <laughs> Is that a good way to go about this? Um, I Maybe it is not, but you know, it's too late. Here we go. The most interesting fact that I learned this week was that the anteaters, uh, they have a two foot long tongue that attaches to their sternum, which is the, the bone that all your ribs connect to in the front of your chest. And it goes in and out of their mouth up to, let me get this number right, 150 times a minute. That's like twice, more than twice a second. That's crazy. Just in and out, in and out. Uh, so now I'm gonna get started on sketching out my t-shirt block idea for the anteater. And I'll come back and explain to you what happened there and why I made the choices I did. So I'm gonna go get sketching. I took a little inspiration for this sketch that I'm gonna be using for the t-shirt block from the fact that giant anteaters can injure or kill humans who corner and threaten them with their giant front claws. So I put this giant anteater in a position where he has been cornered or threatened and he's got his claws up like he's going to attack whoever has cornered or threatened him. That was the inspiration for this pose and this, this design that will be used for my t-shirt design that I'm gonna be using for the armadillo. <laughs> it's not an armadillo, but another fact. Some people would think that the giant anteater is a close relative to the, what are those things called? Aardvarks. But they are more closely related to armadillos. So, yes, the, the resemblance to anteaters are more based on they both live in the same environment and they've kind of evolved to uh, have similar traits based on needs. So it's kind of coincidence that they look like anteaters, but they, they look like they are anteaters. I am just bumbling all over the place. I have a couple sketches ready to for my carving. And the carving, the painted carving that I'm going to be doing is this anteater on the telephone. I asked Paige to whirly gig me again and tell me what I should pick or draw for this piece. And so it was an anteater talking on the telephone. So he's got a, a 90s style telephone there corded. I like the cord. It's fun. I like the expression on the face too. And then I'll, I guess I could show you the finished version of the t-shirt design right there. So that is all finished and drawn up. So those are the two that I will be doing. Telephone Anteater and Fighting Anteater. That's the t-shirt design. This is the painted carving. I also took the time to draw out a couple tiny carvings. You're saying, wait, that's not an anteater. Well, I did do two anteaters. One, two. And uh, I decided that doing five anteaters would be a lot of anteaters. Nobody asked for anteaters. So I'm gonna vary up the other ones. So I, I have the snail, 
as I've shown you. And then I've got a penguin and a shark to join that anteater. And I have a toucan and a koala. And then finally, I've got a kangaroo, a mammoth, and a cactus. And that makes 10 tiny carvings to go along with the t-shirt design and the art. <laughs> That's not an art fart. It's an anteater. Ah, to go along with the anteater carving that I'll be doing this week as well. So all of these can go into production today. And that is what I'm going to do. Let's go draw these out on some boards. got all those pieces drawn out onto the wood. I've got the, uh, right here, I've got the anteater for my t-shirt block drawn out onto quarter inch wood. And I use the quarter inch wood just cause it's easier for storage. It allows me to store twice as many carvings for t-shirts as I would if I used half inch wood. Um, and then I've got the other pieces drawn out onto the half inch wood because those are just gonna be hanging on the walls and it's half inch wood is easier to screw a uh, stuff to hang it up on the walls with like like D rings and put a wire on the back of them. That's why I do that. I don't even know if I've just if I've said that in the past, but that is the reason. Well, for the next couple of days, I'm going to be sitting here at my carving desk, carving out everything I just drew out into some boards. So let's let's get to work doing that. B, what you doing? Hey, what you doing, pup? All right, let's get carving. The anteater carving is finished. Um, there's there's a lot of cool areas on this. I, I like I like the fur that's going on on the knee. I like the rotation that's happening there. I think that looks really good. Um, the bellies was challenging to carve out, but it uh, I think it's going to be successful when printed. I always like doing those little triangle uh, fur marks. And then the tail looks all nice and fluffy. Uh, the anteaters have a very unique tail. They're very um, they're very long haired, fluffy tails. So I wanted to capture that in this in this carving. But that is finished. It's done. And now it's time to carve out the anteater on the telephone piece, which is right there. So I'm going to carve that out now. That one's just going to be a snap reveal. And then I'll start working on the tiny carvings.
<sighs> a lot happened since the last time I've talked to you. I have finished carving out this anteater talking on the telephone. That needs to be painted. And I have finished uh, carving out all 10 of the tiny carvings that I said I was going to carve. Those are all done. Now it's time to paint. But before we paint, I have another anteater fact for you, because this is anteater week, because <laughs> why not? Um, something that I found actually pretty interesting about them is that they uh, they are nocturnal when they are living around people. So they will, you know, avoid people. And when they are living more in a less populated area by people, they are diurnal, which means they are awake during the day. So uh, their habits are directly related to uh, if they are around people, which I found was pretty interesting. So uh, now it's time for me to go paint these pieces, the uh, anteater on the telephone and all 10 tiny carvings so I can get those inked up tomorrow. Friday now. Ant Eater Week is coming to a close. It's time for me to ink up the pieces. I've got them all painted. You see them all right now. I've got the Ant Eater on the telephone and I've got the 10 little tiny carvings. Got a cactus, a kangaroo, a penguin, a snail, a koala, a mammoth, a shark, two ant eaters, and a toucan. So those are all done. It's time to ink them now. So I've got the ink set up. I'm ready to Ready to ink, let's get inking. Oh, I'm very curious to see how this piece specifically uh, will turn out. I'm excited about it. I'm always excited to see a piece like this come together because mainly I don't, like I have an idea what it's gonna look like, but I never know what it's gonna look like. I never know if I pick the right colors until I see it all finished together. Sometimes, I haven't done it in a while, but sometimes I will repaint them. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I don't have to do that. Like I said earlier, it's Friday. That means this week is coming to a close. I have a handful of things that I need to finish up. Uh, the inking's all done. You can see those right here. I think they look really great. I'm happy with them. Um, the the anteater, the colors turned out great. I like the blue of the phone. It all worked. Um, 
And then all the tiny carvings always come out fun. You know, I'm always worried about those as, as I'm working on them, but they are good. So those are finished. I have a handful of things I need to print. So I'm gonna work on printing those. And then I have to package up some stuff to bring to a gallery. So I'm gonna work on doing that after I print. So this will be the last you hear of me because I just have other things that I need to do today. So once again, thanks for hanging out with me this week. Thanks for watching. I got a few more t-shirts to print, so check those out. And I, I'm, I'll print the, uh, I'm also gonna print the anteater that I worked on earlier this week too. So you can see what that looks like. I'll grab a scrap t-shirt. So thanks for hanging out with me this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next week. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed Ant Eater Week. Bye.